Over the past couple years, Dream has become known as the most popular Minecraft YouTuber in the space. From making videos about PewDiePie at the very beginning, to averaging upwards of 100 million views on his manhunt videos, Dream was on top of the world. However, nowadays he seems to just be scraping by, with his newest video being a short that's only gotten 1.8 million views, nowhere near where he was a few years ago. Has Dream officially fallen off? In order to understand the answer to this, we need to first know what made Dream popular in the first place. Dream's first blow up moment was from a video that he made about PewDiePie, trying to find the seed of his Let's Play world. The PewDiePie series would span over four videos and would receive millions of views. These videos would get Dream to over 30,000 subscribers and he was becoming a recognizable face in the community. Dream would also begin making video essays about some of the mysteries in Minecraft and would experiment with numerous plugins that he would code in the game, and these were the videos that would help Dream's channel really start to take off. Simple plugins like multiplying block drops would get him tens of millions of views, and he still wasn't even at his breakthrough moments. Dream would create a server with a couple of the friends from his videos, including George Not Found, Bad Boy Halo, and Sapnap. This server would become known as the Dream SMP after Tommy Innit made a video on it. Let's just say this server would absolutely absolutely explode. For reference, nearly every video that Tommy Init would post on the server would get upwards of 20 million views. Not only that, but at one point in time, streamers were averaging upwards of 200,000 consecutive viewers on Twitch. This era of Dream's career would be known as the peak, because it was also around this time when he would begin to see immense success in one particular series, Minecraft Manhunt. <laughs> Oh my god! No, 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 what? This is Minecraft Manhunt, a survival series where his friends would try and hunt him down while he tried to beat the game. Truly a genius video concept. I remember the hype whenever these were premiering, you'd get all your friends to watch it. At some points, there were even 800,000 people in the premiere. Minecraft Manhunt was for a while the biggest thing in gaming. So where did it all go wrong? It stems back to Dream's initial blow up whenever he'd find himself in his very first controversy. It was over the fact that he found PewDiePie's seed, even though PewDiePie didn't want to reveal it. Yeah, it was something as simple as that. Dream getting into controversies would become a normal thing, as he would build up a list of over 107 controversies within his whole career. Controversies as simple as him clickbaiting his videos all the way up to grooming allegations. And around the time whenever Dream needed it most, he had to pull out his wild card, the one thing that could possibly save his dying career, the dream face reveal. Which in the long term wasn't the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> The premiere of Dream's face reveal was one of the biggest things of 2022. It peaked at nearly 1.4 million consecutive viewers on the premiere, yet there definitely wouldn't be a lack of memes that were made around its face. It seemed as though the entirety of Twitter was making fun of him, and even though he didn't seem to care all that much, the face reveal would definitely have a lasting effect on his YouTube channel. One of the reasons why viewers continued to watch his channel was his mysterious character. Dream never showing his face at at this point was part of his brand, and now the fact that everyone knows takes away the mystery from the Dream character. Shortly after the face reveal, Dream would notice a major dip in subscribers and also views. So major in fact that he was pretty much gaining no subscribers at all, and every video he would post would get less and less views. Dream would attempt to revive his dying career by posting a video titled Bye from Dream, the opposite from his face reveal video which was titled Hi, I'm Dream. In this video, he would basically put the mask back on, again trying to revive his dying career. The only issue is the damage had already been done. Everyone already knows what he looks like and there's nothing he can do to change that. He would then post a couple new videos with some more plugin ideas, however his view counts would just continue 
then you to decline. With one last chance of a saving grace, Dream would upload a video titled The Truth, a 1 hour and 22 minute video that is completely professionally edited, attempting to debunk nearly every single major controversy that has been revolving around his name. Despite Twitter not taking this video very well, which kinda makes sense, the YouTube comment section would be pretty mixed, and I think this comment sums everything up pretty well. It's insane that all those accusers who would sit online and craft their little bits of evidence and fan the flames and, I don't know, watch Twitter turn itself inside out while probably feeling some deep sense of twisted satisfaction, it's hard to call this anything else but an obsession when you think about how much effort has been put into ruining people's lives.